Hey, what's up guys? Ro Ferrelli here, intuitive personal development coach. In today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about my personal radical journey to self-love and how this was really triggered because I got plastic surgery. So after having my daughter, I was over 200 pounds, I think the scale ticked 216 and that was like my breaking point. And I was really desperate. I was desperate to lose weight any way that I could. I was doing all of these fad diets. I was working out like six days a week and I just couldn't get the weight to come off fast enough. I didn't even give myself a year to fully recover from having a C-section before I found myself in a doctor's office getting quotes <laughs> for plastic surgery. And what I learned from that experience it's not so much that I regret having it because it really drove me to have a aha moment. And that was that I still wasn't happy with myself. I still was not 100% satisfied with the results. I still wanted a little nip here, a little tuck there, and I just didn't feel 100%. I thought that I would feel so much more better, but it only filled like half of the jar. There was still this big piece missing. And so I began this search, this quest for what do I need to make myself feel good about myself again? And these are the five things that I have embodied in my life since that experience. The first thing is really just looking in the mirror and looking into my own eyes and taking a moment to connect with my soul and say, I love you. Now, <laughs> you may think, okay, that sounds a little strange, Ro. I've never done that. And that's cool because at the time, I had never done it either. And I'd actually learned about it through Cheryl Richardson's book, Extreme Self-Care. And I, it was a really, really unique connection that I was making with myself. It's almost like I could see my soul in my own eyes. And I, just telling myself, I love you, it was really hard to do. It was really, really hard to do. I want for you to try it yourself. You're gonna see for yourself. I don't know, maybe it won't be hard for you to do it all. But some of you guys might be like me and might be like, oh my gosh, this, I can't believe I'm having such a hard time telling myself I love you in a sincere way. So I started doing that and I do it all the time. I actually created a little laminated uh, stamp that is on my mirror to remind me just to stop what I'm doing, take two to three seconds to look myself in the eyes and say, I love you. I love you. It's okay. I love you. I love you. I love you. So the second thing that I started doing was to stop shaming myself and to stop shaming my body. And not only that, to stop shaming other people. <laughs> it's hard to do. It's hard not to judge. We, it's kind of our nature just to automatically look at another person and just start judging them. But what I've started doing is catching myself and just changing my thought and just trying to reflect love, whether it be to myself or to that other person. So. And I feel like that has really helped me start to look for things that I do appreciate my, about myself. Things like, you know what, I really do like my curves and just finding love and appreciation for the parts of me that I really do like and just expanding on that. The third thing I started doing was investing more time and money into my workouts and into the food that I eat. This for me looked like investing in a really good gym. I go to CrossFit a couple of days a week and I have also invested in races where I'm running um, 5Ks. Actually right now I'm training for a half marathon. So I'm investing my time and my money into my workout because you know what? I do love myself and I do love my body and I deserve to have the energy that, that I want to have and I deserve to feel good throughout my day and I just deserve to do these things. And then when it comes to my food, I have started investing more in my food. I'm not 100% organic, but I do buy 
organic when it's possible. I go to a farmer's market on the weekends and I purchase probably 90% of my fruits and vegetables there. They're all organic. And when I'm shopping at the store, I look for an organic alternative. And in addition to just buying organic, I've just started eating cleaner. I don't eat as much meat. I focus more on a plant-based diet meat and I've just invested more time and more money in and what I'm eating and learning about the things that I'm eating. That's a big thing too. I feel like when you have an awareness of what's good for you, it's really hard for you to deny it to yourself, especially when you're on a radical road of self-love. Now the fourth thing that I stopped doing was participating in things that don't really serve me. This was a really hard thing to do, but when you start saying no to the things that you don't really want to do, it makes a world of difference in your life and you don't show up in that space with resentment. I'm not going to say that I don't always follow this rule, but if it's somebody that I love and I want to support them in a way, then I will go do things sometimes that I'm not really that crazy about. But in general, I'm not showing up at parties all the time or networking events all the time or just doing things that I don't really feel aligned with doing. I'm very quick to cancel an appointment if it doesn't feel aligned or a meeting with somebody that doesn't feel aligned. So I've just stopped doing things that don't serve me and that I don't really want to do. And that's self-love too, you guys, because you're actually taking the time to listen to yourself and say, you know what? I don't really want to do this. <laughs> so instead of forcing yourself to do it, you don't do it, everybody. And it might be really hard for you to do it first, but once you start doing it, you're not going to want to go back. <laughs> so the fifth thing I started doing on my radical journey to self-love is to stop spending so much time and energy with my negative friends and family members. I love you, I love you, I love you, but it's okay to love you from a distance. I don't need you to be in my life every week or even every month. And I realized that being around people who, who really aren't aligned with the same values that I have, it has been very draining to be around them. And I have to just protect my own sensitivity. I have to protect my own energy. And I feel like that's a huge self-love act because it's not easy to do. It's not easy to start saying no to people that you have been saying yes to for so long. But again, once you start doing it, you're not going to want to go back. It's going to be in your life forever. So I highly encourage all five of these steps. And so just to recap these for you guys, the first thing is to start looking in the mirror, look into your eyes, Find your soul in your eyes and say, I love you with sincerity, okay? With sincerity and start doing this on a regular basis. The second thing is to stop shaming yourself and stop shaming other people too. It's not healthy. You think your cells don't hear you? Everything has consciousness. So when you are talking bad about your body and your body parts and other people and other people's body parts, it's just not a good vibe that you're giving out to yourself or to the rest of the world. The third thing is to invest in yourself, invest in your workouts, invest in your food, invest the time and the energy that you spend in both of these categories. Because the fourth thing is to stop doing things that you don't really like to do unless it's because you're supporting somebody that you love. And the fifth thing is to create boundaries with negative people in your life. I hope that this video served you guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your closest friends, and leave a comment in the section below. What do you guys do to tell yourself and to show yourself that you love yourself? I want to know. Maybe it's something that I should start doing. So I'll see you guys around. Till next time. Bye.